find me. Just take it. <laughs> they even have a logo. I'm sure it's said in my father's bestiary that they live deep in the forest. And that they never reveal them. Nectar, you say? So it would seem. That sounds... going through with it. Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for... <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked... Seems the hiding the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone trapped? Lucky for you. This. Well, no, not that. That. And it's the dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. That's good of you, but. Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. Suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> well, maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. Anything catch your eye? Sid's man, if I'm not, couldn't trouble you for some assistance. It depends. What do you... Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to... Come. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. Come. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it takes... So, will you have a word with them? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything... I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue. <laughs> 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 
So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too. Wait here. Oh. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and... That'll be enough for today. But how did the grocer know his daughter of his? Can I have another? I'll have two plates of whatever you're saying. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outside. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comp. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's... Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Tell me, turn him for some. Brother, did you see? <gasps> yeah. Brett. May we? Truly. Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask. To Thank you for everything. Anything catch your eye? But how did the grocer know his daughter? the quint I, I, I want no trouble wait wait that's ah oh, glory to Grega you were the hanged man I took you for a rogue if you're a friend of master Quinton's then perhaps you'll help me his vineyard lost wings pride and joy 
has been beset by... And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest norse. I suppose the smell's got them worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we... I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for... You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can... All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those... Tell me, turns for some. It's looking to be a fine harvest this year. I'll have you know, mal in the village entry is no small task. There's plenty of unsavory sorts in these parts. Must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Looks like that was the last of them. I better let Quinton's man know. Hotel, mate. Turn him to the sun. That'll be enough for today. We don't need you risking the curse for the But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off? Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh. Thank you. 
Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotand Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> You'd like to see what... Right? Anything catch your eye? Always something in there. Well, 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 someone's in a hurry. Just following orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then? Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes. But that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail? Well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. Ifrit still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? But how did the grocer know his daughter? What can I interest you in today? I'll fetch a good price. Here's what we agreed on. Yeah, that'll fetch a good price.
could never have too many. Yeah, that'll fetch a good price. Here's what we agreed on. Yeah, that'll fetch a good price. Keep fighting the good fight. Sun's setting fast. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? No, to jest niezłe. Reach. 
Soldiers used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of a checkpoint. I hope that Dame has friends in the south.
moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course, his master deign to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? <sighs> you say these are all from Dalek? And what can I do for you? I'll be here if you need me. doing tut tut we cannot have people thinking i tolerate disobedience from my branded the men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are but it's not as if i can hide it from the moment you acquired it that brand has done naught but take but today it is going to give you exactly Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. 
Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question... I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust, and hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. I should probably start here. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust me. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the... She's still missing, then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared. The day before. She was into... She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermaid may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermaid can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the... I'm... told you, Sheriff, did she... say anything to you... before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name. But I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne, and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. This man from the garrison. Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. I haven't 
seen you around the bay. That's the day done then. Heard the bones fell favorably. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel? Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the Vale's doors will be... <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days... The dame thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. It's not been half a moon since Bellinus tour. I need to have a smart again. Clive, tell me you bear good tidings. That remains to be seen. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I... I shall return as soon as I find something. Greetings. You are one of the dames chosen. Did one of them give a this? Oriflam, how many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Enough for today, branded. That's enough damning you. Up, the law are you. There's still work to be done. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. Are you Bertrand? The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come. Many traders stop to peddle their wares, but only one's been seen quarreling. Is he still here? The trader? Oh, yeah. Stubborn sod stood his ground. If you seek him out, the fact is, folks round here would sooner hang a branded than help him, and that's even with the dame's brooch for protection. Understood. Expecting any new branded until the new moon. You don't think What's this? A branded? Where's your master? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Oh, 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 why, of course I have. 
I am the good lady. Oh, oh, what is it that she requires of me? Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. A soldier with a scar over his eye. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, that's right. Uh, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a new... But although it was an antique, it most certainly... I stood firm, however. And for all his bluster... And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't usually in the habit of telling me whither they are bound. But as it happens, this one did. Yonder ruins, strange as it may sound. My thanks. Not at all. I would do anything for the day. Anything. Uh, be sure and tell her, won't you, that I was... Fortunate to have fallen into the day's It smells of death here, Torbu. Wolves. We can't let them get any closer to the village. Give them all you've got. Well, the wolves have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. You said her name was... You. Did you follow me? No, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. By the looks of things. We both found who we were searching. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new gallant. Tells that we know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to more for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tati... Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that, speaking of which, I saw her in more. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatienne by. Any new brand, 
if it was a mess. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the... Thank you, but... You need to have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? I see. My dear Tatia. It is by no means uncommon for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. Thank you for returning it. I shall see that it has a place on her pyre. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil. ...counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen... ...it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess... ...I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Ha, ha, ha. 
<clears throat> Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than a... <clears throat> brothel. Really? Doesn't seem very private. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this? fatal chink in the Empire's armor. Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahamut, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Jill. What I'm trying to say is... If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the Outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. You might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Your best mate ready. The world won't save itself. <laughs> 